Hello and welcome to our conference conversations. I'm Linda Thunberg, the CEO of NAS, otherwise known as the National Association of Transpersonal Hypnotherapists. And I'm here today with Linda Bennett, one of our truly gifted and loved presenters that come to our NAS conferences. And we're going to have a conversation with her today. I love it. Linda, how are you? I'm good. And I just love that you're doing this. This is wonderful. It's been so much fun to do it with the presenters and actually get to talk to you guys a little bit more about your talks and what people can expect. And, right. you know, some of our new members might not even, believe it or not, know you. So I, I'd like to, right. get them to get to know you guys even better. So you're doing a two-hour talk on, wait a minute, I've got it right here, Embracing a New Narrative for Mind, Body, and Spirit Healing, which goes right into our universal alignment. Right. Can you tell us about that? What can you tell us about what the participants might take away from that talk? For me, I think the participants are going to take away tools that they can use with their clients because we know our clients come in with a narrative that says I'm broken and I can't be fixed and all this other stuff. And we know that it's how they talk to themselves that often causes the biggest problem. Exactly. So by helping them change the narrative that they're sharing with the world, then they they can change their whole lives. And so that's really what it's about is finding new ways to look at the narrative. And, you know, one of the things I've learned recently in doing some research is the most popular word on social media is trauma. And in that being the most popular word, you've got a lot of misconceptions a lot of challenges that are coming with people just throwing out the word trauma, a narrative that might need another look at. I totally agree with you. So that will be very interesting. So I assume our hypnotherapists will come out of your class with a little more information of how to talk to their clients or how to glean information from their clients so that they can Absolutely. help them more. Yes, and how to coach their clients into saying things differently, a new dialogue for what they're going through instead of complaining and going on and on about what's not working, what is working in their lives and using that as the springboard to help them move forward in a more effective way. Absolutely. In our CHC class, we use Dr. Chip's grid out of his book that goes from victimhood to, to taking responsibility for your life, right? That's exactly, That's exactly what, what it is. You know, and from I say from victor to vic from victim to victor. So it's that whole idea that we have a tendency to put ourselves in these little boxes of victimhood and even believe that we can't get out of them unless somebody does it for us. And it's like, how can we help people get out of those stuck places and become more empowered? That sounds awesome. And then I also know you're doing a one-day workshop on Friday, I believe it is, on yeah. making the most of your hypnotherapy business. And I've already had members asking, what's going to be involved in that? So you what's know, going to be involved this, in that? <laughs> this is one of my favorite topics because it never fails. I've gone to so many conferences and I love these conferences and I love your conference. I think it's fabulous. It's a great setting. There's great people to meet. And I meet so many new practitioners who've just taken a great training from one place or another, and yet they're still holding back. They're not starting their business. And a lot of times it's because they're afraid. And it's like, okay, let's take the fear out of starting your business. And let's look at how you identify your why for being in business. Why are you doing this? And some people say, well, I want to help people. That one's off the tables. That can't be a big enough why. You got to find a deeper why, a why that's going to motivate you when times do get tough. You know, Absolutely. and that's, you know, and learning how to not burn yourself out, learning new tools, ways to build your business that are in alignment with who we are. And I know when I first started, one of the hardest things it was for me was to ask for money. Ooh, mm -hmm. I did a lot of complimentary sessions. I did a lot of freebies, but to ask somebody to pay for it, it was like, wait a minute. And so we did some work and I found it took me back 
to being a small child. And I got my first allowance. It was 50 cents. There you go. I didn't think I was worth anything more than that. And to help us work through those blocks of charging for our services, charging a reasonable fee, and knowing that it's also about, again, your passion. Because if you're passionate about this, you will go through the bumps and lumps without a problem. I know when COVID happened, so many of my peers were going, well, there went my business. And I went, well, Miss, go here, watch my business grow. Because we had a new avenue that hadn't been really that strong for us before. And now we had Zoom. Yeah. Here we are. And that you could build a fabulous business doing that. And so helping people work through that, um, how to take action instead of waiting. Also, being an entrepreneur or solopreneur, which is most of us what we really are, are solopreneurs, you feel you do feel alone. And this is where community, like the organizations, can help you grow and expand your business. And just like you have the little mini workshops that you run periodically, those are additional places to pick up new tools. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about, um, I already talked about avoiding burnout. And where do you get the inspiration? What is your inspiration? And I know for me, just seeing my client walk out the door standing taller is enough to say, get, let me do this all day long. And that's what I want to do. I just, I love this work. I can't imagine not doing this work. Can you? No, I can't either. And you're absolutely right. You can almost see the changes on the client's faces from their self-healing, right? And yeah. if we can help them do that, I think it's an honor. I really do. Oh, but it is. It's totally such a gift to do this. And, you know, I tell my students all the time, I have the best job in the world. And I fall more in love with this every day. The power of it. I had a, a gentleman that was here in my home the other day doing some sort of service of some kind. And he said, what do you do? And I said, I'm a hypnotherapist. And we had this wonderful conversation. And before he walked out the door, I was sharing two books with him of scripts for children to use with his kids. There you go. That's and how it works. We need to talk about it more. We need to it. talk about what we do. So that right. we, the, the mainstream people go, oh, what is that? Or I've heard of that. You're doing that, right? Right, um, right. So many people are afraid to yeah. talk about it. And I always say, they're not going to knock on your door going, I heard a rumor. It's just not going to happen that way. So if we don't communicate it, how are people going to know? And a lot of people are afraid that, well, people make fun of it. So what? So mm -hmm. what? There's going to be people like this gentleman he has two little girls that are, one of them is struggling with confidence. So I loaned him this book to read her script. The next, he did it that night. And the next night she goes, can we have that story again? Oh, that's so awesome. You know, and that's Absolutely. what I mean. Those little, those little moments may not be a client in my chair tomorrow, but it's a client in the future. Absolutely. And so you just don't know if you don't, if you don't share it, how people are going to know. Exactly. Well, I think your one day workshop will be amazing. Um, I'm sure that lots of our new hypnotherapists and even the ones like me that are already in this business for years, you know, you can always glean something new. That's Absolutely. what I think. So Absolutely. I hope you'll all join Linda on Monday and also for her other two hour talk. And for those of our members that don't really know you a lot, Linda, what can you tell us about yourself? Okay, I've been in the field for about 30 years. I work at a school in the southwest part of the country in Arizona. And I've been the director of hypnotherapy at that school, the Southwest Institute of Healing Arts, for 20 years. I've been with them for 23. And we teach both on campus and online. And we have a wonderful connection with NAF in um, offering the Life Between Lives training at our facility once a year. And it's just been a great experience all the way around. It's just been a wonderful experience. And our school is, we went, run year round. We don't take summer breaks like a lot of colleges do. And we just have a, a wonderful group of people that are very dedicated to mind-body wellness. 
And that's I really can cool. attest to that. Being out there once a year, I love your facility. I love the school. I love that energy. As soon as you walk in the doors, you can feel it. It's, mm-hmm. it's palatable. You can really feel it when you yeah. walk in. And I'm yeah. sure you can feel it online too, but you can really feel it when you're there. So, um, what else do I want to know? Why do you come all the way across the country to the NAS conference? What do you like? Why to- not? <laughs> well, I agree with that. But I mean, know, I love the, I love the conference. I like to see people from other parts of the world because sometimes you they do have some other perspectives and things, trends that are happening in certain parts of the country, and it's a chance to reconnect with people that I've known for a while that I haven't seen for a while. And usually I travel with about five or six people from Sweetha that come. We come in, a, you know, our little troop. We come through and we have a great time uh, working with each other, supporting each other. And we just look forward to it as a great learning opportunity. Well, we appreciate you guys coming all the way across the country and being with us because we learn so much from you guys too. And it's just, as you say, it's really nice just seeing all of you again. And I, I keep hearing from um, our members, it's like a homecoming. It's like a, yeah. a once a year reunion. And now not only is it NASA and SWEHA, but it's also Atlantic University and it's um, ARE now as well with the Edgar Casey uh, school that we're into now again. And it's just pretty amazing that all these people can come with the same transpersonal hypnotherapy um, outlook and meet and be able to network and talk with each other and learn mm-hmm. from each other. It's good. And we have oceanfront rooms, so it'll be nice this year. We're back on the boardwalk. You're going to love the Absolutely. Homes. You're going to love the meetings rooms and the meeting space. It's, it's really nice. So we look forward to seeing you in, what, just about four weeks now. We're getting down to the wire. We are getting down to the wire. I have it on my calendar. It's like, okay, this is what I'm leaving. Then, yeah, I'm very excited. Well, we are just happy you're coming. So I will see you then. Thank you for being here. And we'll uh, talk to you then. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.